six o'clock in the morning. I'm up and awake and I am not feeling well. The full of a cold logie man reaches for the top box in his cupboard, which of course contains drugs. That'll do, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. Four hours later. Woo. That guy sounds like I feel. It's okay. Good morning. Good morning. He doesn't like waking up, does he? Oh, morning. Good morning, little weed. Oh, he does not like being woken up in the morning. <laughs> are you a happy boy now? Yes, you are. We're up. We're awake. We're starting the day. I can hear someone loose around my house. She's going to say hello. Good morning, Bevla. <laughs> have you by any chance seen downstairs? Not yet. You ask, what have I done now? Mm. Ooh. Oh, you like the little space under the stairs? Yeah. All right. Well, how do you feel about being able to walk to the washroom now? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Organising it. This is all rubbish and charity. And it's all done and dusted. Oh my gosh. It's a busy weekend, aren't you? It's like a new place. Even the throne. Even the throne. <laughs> and this is why we love it when Bev's been, because look at this place. Tidied and organised. I am Hank Marvin. Cockney rhyme for starving. It is a Monday, Monday, Monday. And I am hungry. I was just about to say, I have no idea what I'm doing today, but I've got something to show you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so good. Bev, what do you think of our little soldier? Oh. <laughs> I can't believe the hat's it's coming. I love him so much, but that is not what I have to show you. Now, as you know, I've been working on the basement, getting it tidied, getting it organized, and trying to work out the best flow of space from a layout perspective to have my office downstairs. To do so, I've been speaking to the wizard that is known as Alex of Vizscape, who makes incredible 3D renders and is just the best at what he does. And after a bit of conversating with him back and forth and looking at some ideas, he's put something together and they're epic. Roll the clips. The wizard's been working on the renders. Yeah, should I send them through? Yeah, oh, go on then, yeah. That's what it could look like? It could. No! No. no. Bro, that's amazing! Bro, the two doorways with the hallway look sick! Oh my gosh, this looks amazing! With that call done, we're on to another. Okay, FaceTime call with Orion, who I'm assuming is going to want to punch me through the screen. Orion is the person who edits these vlogs. <laughs> Have you given up the will to live yet? Yeah. <laughs> so, for context, when I usually film a vlog, how many clips do I send you? Hi, Ben! Hi, hey, mate! Uh, I don't know, like 300, maybe. And how many did I send you this time? What, like, one and a half thousand? <laughs> 1,339. Have you got a cold? I'm very ill, yeah. So am I! <laughs> I've got all weekend dead motivating, getting stuff done, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I woke up this morning, and I'm just like... <laughs> Uh, Orion! Explosion! <laughs> Come on, please. Go. Yeah! <laughs> Why is this a thing? So in closing, on a scale of 1 to 10 of hating me for overfilming and just causing havoc in oh, your yeah, life. Yeah, you're a, a weekday vlogger, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I don't film my weekends. I take it off so we can all relax and enjoy ourselves. Yeah, because you need a break. <laughs> Let it be known, I love you and I appreciate you, okay? All right, till next time, team. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow. So the vlog from yesterday uh, still hasn't gone live. You will obviously have seen it, but Orion's saying it's looking like it might be a two-hour-long vlog. Who? I, I'm really interested to see how badly that video performs because I know for a fact no one wants to watch two hours of someone cleaning the house. And that is facts. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, he's here. <laughs> Mate, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Yes! As soon as I get that bar sorted, tidied downstairs, you and me are having a beer in it, yeah? Dead right. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing, Lass? You can't be giving him even more. Look at. Hey, I, I, I feel. I feel like you're proud parents. I've, I've, well, maybe not. Maybe not Andy. I've, I've done. I've done a good job, right? It, it would have thought it would have taken me having a child to become an organised human being. Thoughts? 
Not mad. Not, not mad. Mate, not mad. Tell me you don't want to sit down here, have a beer, put the footy on. We'll do it. And have a bite. Not mad. What are you doing here? Not mad. Not yeah. mad. It's not. You couldn't see the bloody floor before. Eh? You couldn't see the floor before. It's going to be even a better room, it's going to load the van. Yeah, that, that's all rubbish that we're getting out. It's about to get even tidier. Oh, look at you defending me! Who would have thought? No, the more you do, it's less amazing. True. Very true. And it's only going to get tidier. This is all going to the tip, and the basement's going to look better. Oh, what do you want again? What do you want now? What do I want now? What do you want? Are you just stood there being proud? Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. Mum and Dad. <laughs> Mum and Dad just stood there. Cracking crack day! <laughs> <laughs> what a day! Feeling absolutely under the weather, but getting shit done. Monday morning, in the yard, and Andy's off to the tip. Legend! Absolute legend. But with Andy taking the stuff off to the tip, I've realised I've got to get motivated and stop feeling sorry for myself. Get this to a charity shop, and get to B&M for some more boxes for this. Because today's the day we fully clear out this segment, and if we've got time... I would really like to work out how we put a massive cork board from that corner to that corner. I know it hides the display, but I need to do it in like parts like one, two, three. And then I can store the parts in there, but I want to turn this in to the ultimate dartboard arena. So let's grab a monster and let's get going. Can't forget my Syndicate original swag. And we're taking one small step for Tom, one giant leap for organization. Beep, 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 beep. I can't believe I'm saying it, but it's looking better already with all those boxes and bags gone. Clear house, clear mine. The same can't be said for my garden because I've still got those kegs. I will pay someone to take them off me, please. Well, that was a first. They said we don't need it. We're full. Well, looks like I've got a load of stuff going somewhere else. And they will take it. Okay, there is five copies of the same Xbox game in here. Okay. They are real. I just had too many. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is task numero one of the day done. Great success. I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, are you guys taking any stuff? And he was like, no, went across the road and they were like, we'll take everything. So yeah, just glad it's not being sat in my basement, doing nothing and going to a good cause instead. Now this is a change of scenery. Yes, it is a B&M, but this is not my local because I bought out all the boxes from there. So I'm on the hunt here in Ashton where I'm hoping to find the holy grail of really useful boxes and have they got them however these are 64 liters and i'm after 80. just don't know if i can reach it oh yeah i got two wait a minute what's inside that box is that a monster truck i don't believe it oh my gosh i have hit the jackpot look at how many boxes they've got <gasps> i've definitely come to terms with the fact that i'm obsessed with these at this point but they're just so good another one can't hurt and look at these little ones oh Oh my gosh, they're a hoarder's heaven. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Hoarding aside, I need to become a handyman today because I need to hang some art. So we're going to take one of these and hope this does the job. I'm also going to get this for three pounds because I need to reseal my sink. And I can't believe the cheek of B&M charging one pound 25 for a bucket. Unbelievable. What a bloke. He just helped me carry the boxes out. <laughs> Flipping heck. Right, will they fit? Will they? Got bloody loads of room and uh, yeah, I bought another two. Uh, don't want to talk about it. But we will talk about the bargain of the century. Go on then. And you know what? Others should experience this. One for me mum, one for me dad, one for Alice, one for Carl, and one for Andy. Absolutely beautiful. And all in all, seven pounds. Oof. Turns out it wasn't three pound fifty I paid for this. It was twenty-two pounds. Oh dear. Now I know I just picked up picture hanging supplies, but I don't think the ones I just got are gonna be heavy duty enough for what I'm trying to hang. So what here is gonna be more suitable? Maybe the thing labeled picture hanging kit heavy duty. Six pounds. That was the price of the entire other kit. But I really do think we'll need it. It's almost like I planned the space. Buckets for days. And this is so random. But like just always do me a favour, always tell your family you love them and your friends you love them and stuff like that because I've got a family friend right now who's going absolutely through it with health situations and I just got a text that I was not expecting about in the, in the slightest and I'm a pretty emotional man, like <laughs> it didn't take a lot to upset me but the text I just got really just knocked me for bald and it just made me think like, especially after everything I said yesterday of like when I read through letters of you guys of being like please make the most of life because I've met people who would wish for anything just to be healthy and happy and how people just take it for granted. Like, do me a favour, just love your life. Tr like, ignore drama, ignore all that sort of stuff. Just do you, be happy and make the most of it because you never know when you're going to get some news when 
you might not wake up tomorrow. So, yeah, sorry, it's a random segment, but yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. And breathe. Here we go. It's time to eliminate some noobs. Locked and for once, actually loaded. I'm gonna try and avoid the front door this time and see if the side's open. Dang it. Looks like we're going old school, but this time I'm taking a hostage go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, what's this? Oh no, it flopped up. I got one of you. I need a bullet. I need a bullet. No. Go on, fire it. I dare you. Fire it. I dare you. Yeah, wait. We'll make it fair. One bullet each. Yeah. And we'll do a back-to-back -back duel. We'll take three steps. One, two, three, and then it's the quickest person to fire. And you've got a deciding wins, Yeah. Three, two, one, drop. Oh. oh. That was it. <laughs> Round two. Epic fails. Drop. Oh, we missed it. <laughs> right, tell you what. You guys suck. Let's just do it like this. Shoot, shoot from the hip. You ready? Three, two, one. And drop. <laughs> yeah, Fair you, enough. You, you win. die. I feel like I'm bipolar at this point. One minute it's like you got bad news, then it's like you know it's life. You've got to get on with it. Then you get another phone call. It's like oh my fucking god. Oh. I've got a cold. I'm like crying and I can't, I've got nothing to blow my nose with. I'm sorry. I just wish, wish people like with good health realize how lucky they are. It's unreal. Too many people take this shit for granted, man. I hate it. Stop off number one, Papa Ken. Now he's got security cameras everywhere. So he's gonna spot me. So we'll have to be quick. Go, 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 but if he did, rather than open the window, he'd find a bucket on his handle. <laughs> I bet you now he's looking at his nest to try and see who it was and he'll spot it's me. I'm going to get a phone call any minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I've annoyed my dad. But th this has got to be fate. Go I'm about to show you some pictures of some stuff I want to do in my house. And I need a joiner. Go on. I actually did. This might be for you. Go on, let me oh. on the fourth and see you. Bring me tape. Yes. I'll measure it up. I'll get it so the point where all you need is a plaster. He'll skim it, decorate it, I'll come and finish it off. That's exactly what I needed. Oh my oh. god. All right, stop number two. I'm coming for you. But for this one, we're going inside the box. We're putting one monster truck in this one. We're putting a monster truck in this one. And we're putting a monster truck in that one. And it is operation. Go, go, go time. <laughs> put one on here. Quick, 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 quick. Oh my god, I'm nearly ripped his windmill off. And then I can put one on here. Come on, come on, come on. Then I can put one on here. Quick before his cameras go off. I can't imagine his reaction when he sees his camera with a hooded figure running up his drive. <laughs> Perfect. They're in at Syndicate Original. So I'm gonna plunk it on the handle and when they leave, they'll see it. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Time to go, time to go, time to go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they just opened the door and they didn't even notice the bucket. I'm lying down so they don't see me. <laughs> Start the car! Oh no! It's falling apart, my back door's open! Nothing to see here! Suits you, sir! I'm classing that one as a- Oh! Nice to see you. I'm classing that one as a fail. I was going to try and get away with putting it on the handle. Nice to see you. To see you nice. Nothing! Well, convenient that I brought this because of uh, the parking situation, but I decided to pick up... Da -da -da -da! Thought they were a bit cleaner than mum's wheel clamping in operation. Shall I put them up? Yeah, nice. Hopefully this is going to stop the chaos of us having to park in this bay to then tell people to move from here because it's well annoying. Beautiful! Go on, thank me. Thank me. Thanks for all the you, you're welcome. Roll the clip. Actually, better context before we actually roll the clip. Can we put the text on the screen that Carl just sent me? 
He thought someone was robbing his van. And fairly so, I ran up hooded like this, hiding. <laughs> um, and Carl came running out onto the front. But uh, everything's A-OK, -okay, but an amazing outcome of it was, I got these videos. You've got a choice. You can have three Hot Wheels trucks, or you can have the mystery prize, and it's not a mystery, of three orange buckets. Trucks it is. It seem he's not that fussed about the trucks anymore. And the orange buckets for the win. Syndicate original, always a pleasure, never a chore. And what did you say we've got back in stock? LTS, hoodies, long sleeves, t-shirts and tanks. Everything you see on screen there is now back in stock at Syndicate Original. So for everyone asking, you can get yours today at syndicateoriginal.com. Andy, I brought you some cardboard. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I've actually got something for you. I actually have, I had, oh my gosh. I, I just pulled over to joke with you, but I've actually got something for you. Guess what I've got you? I can't, I haven't got anything. Wait, close your eyes. And open it. It's your very own oh, orange bag. Listen, come here. I know, I know. You're so thankful. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm driving around dropping everyone off. Thank you for all your hard service. Thank you very much. Absolutely brilliant. I only pulled over then to get a prescription from the pharmacy for Lydia. Just spotted Andy. I was just going to prank him with cardboard and I realised I got a bucket for him. This is how like my um, really totally don't have ADHD brain works. Honey, I'm home. 19 hours later. Oh, that is a beautiful moon. And if the werewolves aren't howling, the wind sure as shit is. Oh my gosh, this weather's awful. The adventurer returns with prescriptions and one pound buckets. Who's that knock, knock, knocking at my door? It's a box. I would like to clarify that I am not a hoarder. Orion, the editor of these videos, said I am. I'm not a hoarder. I'm just really good at hanging on to things till I need them. Thank you very much. Right, let's get everything in this and then leave it there for a lifetime. How have I just realized that leaving all that there that belongs to George Daniel is absolutely pointless because he lives in London and I've got it sat here near the back door ready for him to come and collect it any minute. But he's not gonna be back to get this for bloody months. So we're shifting it and oh my gosh, Jordan, what an well, that is the heaviest bag I've ever picked up in my life. You have to drag it, otherwise I'm gonna get a hernia. Oh my gosh, I did not just do that. I've just scratched the wooden floor, the entire wood. Oh no! Oh my gosh, how have I just managed that? I thought it was all in the bag. How on earth has that happened? Oh man, that's not good. And it's not even by a little bit, like it's to the point where you can scratch it. You can feel that. Oh, for goodness sake, that looks awful. Oh. I blame the Scottish. The space is now clear, but at what cost? I've ruined my hardwood floor. Oh, hello there. Did you not think to tell me that was a bad idea? Did you not know? Your biggest dickiest. Um, just got a text off my dad saying something along the lines of, uh, was this you or do you recognize this person? Here's the image from his CTTV. <laughs> Never seen him. <laughs> not a clue who that was. <laughs> Look at that, there was a one pound bucket on your door. What's not to love? Kevin is on the hunt. He misses his prey. He's so close he can almost smell it. He's going to go for another shot. Will he hit? He missed. Come on, Kevin, don't cave under pressure. He can definitely see it. He's just choosing not to pounce. I'm just gonna stand over here and pretend I'm doing something because I'm pretty sure he's camera shy. You ready? He'll start moving any minute. Any minute now. Even though I can see his eye staring all the way back at me. <laughs> Look, it's completely the opposite direction. You're taking that long that I've had a text off my sister now saying the black monster truck is sick and she is right. Um, going to B&M, I, I know I'm addicted and I know I need to stop, but I can't, I just can't do it. I'm living vicariously through Arlo. The, the monster truck I just picked up, I'm gonna have to get Alice to send me a picture and I'll put it on screen now. As we've just missed him strike, oh Kevin, you got it, see? I, I knew you were camera shy. Is that a bit too big? Should you have taken your time with that one? Whoa, what the hell? You just bit, <laughs> just bit a fart out of it. <laughs> That was the most random thing I've ever seen. I'm just giving myself 10 minutes before I get on with all that stuff over there. And the gift that is the one pound bucket just keeps on giving because Alice has just sent me this video.
I'm cutting this massage one minute and 20 seconds short because oh, ho, 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 the baby has arrived. Come, come, my baby. Come, come, my baby. You're my little guy. Teddy, baby. Don't come in. Do you know what I can say? What? My little soldier. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's awake. Tom. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Oh, God, I've got to sleep. No one's awake yet. You're supposed to be asleep. You're supposed to be asleep. <laughs> Stop waking. This is not part of the deal. You were supposed to stay asleep. It's nap time. Are you trying to get Daddy in trouble? <laughs> it's okay. Daddy loves you. Well, it would seem like I've discovered a game. What do you think? <laughs> Lydia. Mine's better than yours. I'm sorry, but this is like looks like straight like Jar Daniels. Like I'm not even joking. But better because she's used the right kind of pasta. The stringy long pasta. Oh no no no. This looks next level. Hello there. Hello, soldier. Oh, what we call this prawn prawn pasta dish? Well we've already got a prawn pasta dish. This is cheesy prawn pasta. That's so good. I'm so mm. hungry as well. I've not had any lunch. Wow. That's that nice. I'm giving you, and you know I don't like pasta all that much, I'm giving you a 9 out of 10 for that. I know, mate. You wish you... Do you? He's trying to look at the appetizer as if he wants it. You don't need that yet. That is that good. Cheesy pasta with prawns and tomatoes. That was tomatoes. So, so easy as well. Babe. Oh, I'm probably home. Lydia was, like, Lydia was like, do you want to go out and go get the pasta, all the stuff to make this pasta, or should I go and do it? I was like, I'll have the baby, you go out. She was gone three minutes, came back, whipped it up in five. I just was hungry and I was like, I don't want to wait ages. I can't explain to... Th this is seriously giving like Jordan's uh, pasta dish a run for its money. And I don't like pasta. It is currently 7.31 at night. The vlog is still only just uploading. I'm really worried it's going to be a really late vlog this. And a certain someone is having the time of his life. <laughs> This is really random, by the way. But I'm going to go and get my sketchbook from upstairs because I think I've thought of the first, like, you know, like, like Life of Tom merch. Because it's like Syndicate original, but I think I've thought of the first Loft merch I want to do. And I know it's really stupid, but I think I really like the idea of it. I've just got to find the right artist to draw it because I've got a really particular style in my mind. I see your version of it. Yeah, this is going to be hilarious, but I want to see what you guys think of it because I think it's great. In my mind, it is. Not quite sure on paper. Not quite sure why the sketchbook is just chilling here next to another random PlayStation and the uh, weird thing Joe Sugg sent me. I can guarantee this is not going to look anything like in my mind, but if I can find the right artist, I would usually be like, oh, I'll go to Evan Eckhart or Sam Jones or someone like this, but I know their styles and I don't think this is their, their take. Can I ask, where did you find that arrangement? Oh, I don't know why I got a green pen. That's strange. I don't know why I picked that, but I picked up a pencil, this kind of pen, and this kind of pen. I said, oh, I thought, the, the really organised drawer where all the pens are. Well, I don't know if you've gone to your new pen box. Um, we have a pen box? <laughs> I'm joking, I know. So, here goes. What I'm thinking for the front, I'm going to start in pencil first, right? What I'm thinking on the front is, say you've got your T-shirt here, or your chest area, it says, it's easy to do nothing. Written here. And then a picture of a stick man kind of sat down on the floor next to it, just kind of doing nothing. So really simple, really plain. But with the text written next to it, like, it's easy to do nothing there. And then on the back, I want the stick man to be holding, like, one of those... You know when they put, like, a billboard up and they're rolling the artwork on? Yeah. I want him to be, like, rolling a stick and I want it to spell get shit done, like that, but... To, to censor its spelling shit, so it's not like a full swear word, he's only just rolling up the stencil of the eye. Like the idea? I, I kind of see it being like, a bit like, almost needs to be like a bank scene, like Christmas Carol, like a bit like that. Oh, you know what, That's a good, that would be a good take of it, but more like, yeah, but like a stick man in its own little, own, own little universe of style of a stick man. Dead simple. But I know this 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 does not have in my mind what I'm imagining. But I like the idea of the stick man doing nothing on the front saying like it's easy to do nothing. And then on the back of it, it say get shit done. 
but like in billboard format. So like, you know, it's like a, it's like a thick G. Oh God, that's not a thick G. But like, you know, like a proper, it's like a thick G. Like do it, do it, do it. Like bold, sorry. Get shit done. And the I in shit is the thing that he's putting up. Are you ready? Because it takes you, aka I, to do it. Yeah, that was a stretch. If anyone's an artist out there and wants to give this a go, right, feel free to sketch it up. Like, I'm going to try and find examples. I'm going to put, like, a picture there. If I, find, if I don't find one, I'll just put a thumbs up and there'll be nothing there. But if I can find a picture of, like, kind of vicious style I'm inspired by, that's the kind of way I want to do it. I think it'd just be really, really, really cool that it's, like, get shit done, but then you're censoring spelling shit by removing the I, and then it can be it can be worn in public, do you know what I mean? I think that's, I think that's a really cool thing. I'm making a phone call to see if, for the sake of what I'm talking about now, I can bring in someone to help me visualize it. Sam, Hello. I've, got a, I've got a really random one for you with a very noisy child in the background. Right, now for context, Lydia's filming this because this is for the vlog. But I've got a really daft thing that I'm trying to sketch out in my head and I just cannot... You know that, on a scale of 1 to 10, Sam, what would you give my drawings? Creative. Uh, on creativity, I would say you're ambitious, so maybe like an eight. I get an eight. Skill-wise, I feel like every every year it's it's just stick men. I, I think you need to you need to develop some stick men personally. <laughs> well, this is really awkward because the next thing I'm about to show you is stick men. What do you think? So, so we do want actual stick men then. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be cool. Kind of like, uh, I'm getting Casey Neistat vibes. Like, uh, like a like Casey Neistat vibes. Like he would write, like he would do like a little doodle in his like vlogs and stuff. Like get shit done. That abs yeah, 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 absolutely. That's a good. That's an amazing inspiration. Yes. Do you think you could sketch the idea just for the vlog for me to be able to show <laughs> showing concept? <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh, we're getting sad to, now. To, to showing concept, Sam, what <laughs> it is I'm trying to think about. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, I can do that now. Yes. <laughs> it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Thank you, Sam. You were so cute on that phone call, weren't you? <laughs> that that was the noisiest thing I've ever heard him do. <laughs> I'm gonna try and sketch this out again myself because I want to see what I can come up with. But I, I let me know in the comments, like honestly, please. If I release this as my first like Life of Tom merch, because Syndicate Original is my clothing line. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a completely. It's my completely separate clothing line. It's like its own entity. I'm Tom, not Syndicate. Like, that is Syndicate original. I am Tom. Two separate things, right? It's clothing line. This is, like, technically, like, kind of like a YouTube merch, and I hate the idea of doing that, but so many people have requested me for me to do, like, Life of Tom-related merch, and I think this would be such a good one. I kind of did the little stick dude incorrectly because it's supposed to be painting in the eye but this is kind of like along the lines of what i'm going for like he's painting it on or stenciling it on or something i think that'd be really cool if you guys want to give this a go i will literally showcase in tomorrow's vlog all your guys attempts at doing this so if you want to submit an, an attempt at this in any regards just tweet at me on x you're supposed to say exit me on x but it just sounds weird tweet at me on what was twitter at syndicate follow me here if you haven't done go and follow me tweet at me and then we'll showcase as many as we can if not all of them in tomorrow's vlog this sketching stuff needs to pause anyway because i've completely just remembered the massive conversation we've been having about the basement and the layout and all that sort of stuff well that's kind of changed and mixed up a little bit because an idea has come into play you know, if we put the image on screen now, you go down the hallway at the end and that takes you to like the washroom downstairs in the basement. But the thing is, we've worked out that that washroom is ruining the entire space of that floor. Because no matter what, if you want to get to this washroom, you've either got to go down the proposed corridor we've talked about. If you think about it in its original state, you go through this door and cross through the room or we put a hallway here and you go into it there. But the thing is, this just isn't efficient. And the space that gets lost from it, whether or not the path goes this way or that way, is absolutely mahusive. So why not 200 IQ this and actually remove the washroom from here and instead I can't believe I'm saying this but 
put it here. If you've watched any of the content on the channel, you'd know for the longest time that if we were doing the garage extension, this area of the house would have been a utility pantry room, laundry room, everything that we want. But because the cost of materials of doing like external extension work is so damn high, it's been put on pause. I'm kind of floating the idea of putting a stud wall across this, removing the bikes, pretending that back door doesn't exist. Because honestly, you've seen me use it maybe 12 times in my entire life. Get rid of this boxed out section. Because all this used to do was house the boiler, which is no longer in here. And then in its place, put a washer and dryer. I'm not too sure about the rest of the layout of the room and what else you'd put in it. Maybe some like unit space or shelving and storage. But again, this would absolutely remove the necessity for the washroom being down in the basement to where we can actually still clear out the washroom down there, get rid of the washer, get rid of the dryer, utilize that room as an actual storage space for my office, and more so, gain ourselves more space down here by putting a wall straight across there, which means this entire room becomes my office. Keep the new door that we talked about for entry, and then that way you have the hallway to access the back, the doorway to enter the entire office, and the best thing is you would have no one trying to access this room because there'd be nothing in it. So we'd technically get a bigger space here, privacy, we could soundproof it, it's only adding in one door and one stud wall, so it's seeming like a bit of a no-brainer to do that however it comes at the cost of the garage and i've only just got this thing tidied but realistically all we're doing is adding in a stud wall the wiring electrics everything's already in here so if we ever did the extension it wouldn't be too much of a change up all we need in here is a bit of space for like units like i said before and a washer and dryer the fridge would probably just fit there anyway or we could build that into the unit and if we actually built them to spec properly we could have some units along the bottom here for even more storage what are your guys thoughts because i'm thinking this is a winner winner chicken dinner but there's a certain someone we need to speak to about it hello there <laughs> Oh, how's it going? Um, really well. Again, guys, if you haven't done, go and follow this guy. His Instagram is going to be in the top comment down below. He's just a wizard at what he does. But hopefully with that bribe of everyone going spamming you saying, do it, do it, do it. I've had a bit of an idea. Where do you think in the house we would put the washroom if it wasn't in the basement? The back of the garage. I mean, that makes more sense. You could look at this less distance to carry the clothes. I didn't even say that in the vlog yet, but Lydia has been preaching for us to work out a place to put the washer and dryer closer for access. So yeah. it's an absolute <laughs> yeah. win in that regard. Where we're talking about this room being the entire like office space instead, you're walking through the door here, we were discussing about the idea of like this random door just being in the background. But the thing is, and this is 200 IQ play right now, Alex, that actual door, if we could take that door, if it's like fire rated and use that existing door in the hallway, that way I've got a matching door you know, to the hallway, because they probably don't make these doors anymore. So if we could take it off there and put it there, then that's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And what Alex was saying is where the doorway is here, so like you can actually gain access into it and make the room look better, you make it like a secret door. Like it blends in with whatever we put along this back wall, whether it be paneling or soundproofing or whatever, this becomes a secret room. That is smart. Very good. Very good, man. Is there any way I can put you on that challenge? You can indeed. I will say, like, with the basement setup, mate, I didn't even expect you to make that setup look so good. Again, I'm going to put it on the screen. Just look how good that is. Imagine being that talented to be able to do that. That's, that's insane, right? I can't picture what to really do with, like, the laundry utility in the garage and how that setup would look and where a door would probably go. She needs to get to the garage still. It's where the door for the garage or wherever that be. I just can't quite visualize that in my head. So I'd look for your creative genius of building it together in, you know, a render to what it could look like. Are you the man for the job? Of course I am. <laughs> it's not about what you know, about who you know. That's um, that's a nice hoodie that you got on there. It's a shame it's the uh, the worst version of it. Damn, can't believe Sandon. <laughs> nah, Sandon White's nah. It was a pleasure, pleasure speaking to you. Bye, bye Alex. <laughs> what a call! What an actual call! You might be getting a washer and dryer in the garage. Ooh. Look at you, you big cozy sausage. Look at you. <laughs> I'm trying to make this house the best home possible. I got you. And Sam Jones has just sent me something, so I'm going to go see what it looks like. Okay, this was my sketch. This was my concept. What has Sam Jones sent us? Are you ready? Bam, ba -da bam, 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 bam. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. And that's the exact sort of stick man I was looking for. Yes, it's easy to do nothing. Get shit done. I love the ladder. This one. I, I love this. I love this. I love this. 
But the ladder one, that is so good. He's absolutely nailed it. I'm putting this down to a vote. Which one did Sam Jones do best? Is it number one, number two, number three, or number four? I think it's got to be the ladder one. And if we change the font style of it up to like more of like a, a paint stroke look to it like this, I think that would be amazing. Yes, so good. Dude, so, so, so good. I love it. I want to ask you a question though. What do you prefer... Like, so like this four, the ladders, the repelling one, the billboard, or the, like, the big sign. Which one do you prefer? For me, I like the, well, I, I think having the billboard, but then having some background in it mm. would be cool. Yeah. So, like, a back design to the t-shirt. Yeah. Like, have some trees or, like, some telephone wires or something. Yeah, but depth to it, yeah. Yeah, I think that would be cool. I, I don't know. I also like just the simple him up a ladder and then just I, <laughs> the, the text i love the first one of him up the ladder i think it's so good to the point where i'm like that's almost perfect of exactly what i imagined and the first one of him like sat down saying it's easy to do nothing that's exactly what i was imagining like exactly like the hand-drawn style chef's kiss right could you possibly please 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 on the get shit done text can you do it in like paint stroke a brush stroke like that so it looks like he's painted it on and he's about yeah. to do the eye and see what that looks like yep. yeah, yeah, yes! yeah. i'm just so stoked right now sam's actually going away making these changes and we're gonna see what it looks like um it's currently nine o'clock at night the vlog still hasn't gone live because it's still processing into 4k and it's gonna take another 17 minutes to do so Oof. i'd also just like to throw this out to you guys just to show what i save you from when you watch these videos because like when you upload a video to youtube it throws ads in it just automatically i try and space them out so you're not bombarded with them this i swear down on like my mum's life is how youtube would want the ads to look in my videos you ready so imagine you're trying to sit down watch it watch it and enjoy it if i show you where youtube's algorithm thinks the ads should be it will blow your mind <laughs> In the first minute, the fourth minute, the 10th, the 17th, the 26th, then randomly you get a big gap, and then it's 42, 46, 50, 50. What on earth is this? I, I try. These, these are the extra miles I go through. I painstakingly put in every single ad in a specific place with a, enough time between it for you guys to enjoy the vlogs. And I will always keep saying this. Thank you for watching. This is going to look so random, but I'm attempting to try and make a thumbnail for tonight's vlog or yesterday's vlog for you guys. And I've just had a bit of a weird idea. So I'm going to go in the storage room. And because it's so freaking organized, up here, I have my professional lighting on hand and ready to go. And what I'm going to try and do might not work, but I'm definitely getting 10 out of 10 for effort. This is me attempting to post the thumbnails. <laughs> Ooh, 9.25 at night and the vlog's about to go live. I am so sorry for it being late, guys. I know I'm a potato sandwich. It was an hour 59 minutes and 16 seconds long. I don't expect anyone to watch it, but if you did, you are wild. And there it is, the brand new vlog. And look at the thumbnail I went with. I didn't do the one you guys saw me post for. I tried a different few ones. Apparently, um... I don't have eyeballs on that. Not sure what's going on, but I completely renovated my house in 72 hours. Let's see how many times I changed that title. <laughs> By the way, just to address, if you've ever seen the titles change and stuff like that, I hate having to do it. I'd rather just upload a vlog called Bob Dylan Does Backflips. I don't know, uh, vlog one, two, three, four, five. But unfortunately, on YouTube and just human nature, you know, there is people who watch these vlogs religiously like, every day, sit down, watch it when they're on time, seven o'clock on the door. And I really appreciate that. But, like, when you're trying to grow as a YouTuber and, like, you know, appeal to um, your, your entire subscriber base, there's so many YouTubers, like, com completely fighting for that, that, you know, oh, who's going to click it or not? So you have to sort of, like, incentivize people to click it by having a title that's kind of catchy or, you know, like, give people reason to want to watch it. Because if you just say exactly what you're doing in the title, like I have there, you can't expect anyone to watch it. Of which I don't expect anyone to watch this one. This this vlog was more for me than anything. But for other vlogs, if you ever see me changing the title and stuff, it's because you're trying to make it more appealing to people who go, who might go, well, I'll get around to watching it eventually. But then they kind of don't. So if you change the title up a few times, you actually are more in, more like likely to have the viewers who are subscribed to you click the video and watch it. I know it's annoying. A lot of people see it as like, oh, you shouldn't be doing it. Or it's like clickbait or whatever. But it's just the way YouTube is. To everyone who is an OG and just tunes in, watches the videos like honestly you don't understand how much i appreciate that if i could just upload it like day after day after day and it just like popped up and it was like a regular like show for you guys like a tv show oh my gosh 
my life would be so much easier. But in the game that is YouTube, the most important thing isn't the content, it's just the thumbnail and the title. And I hate it. I've got the vlog on the TV and look he's watching now, it. I feel like you're gonna be happy and you're gonna be The vlog is paused. We managed to get 24 minutes through it. And now I've got a naked baby because he's going upstairs and he's getting in the bath. Are you a little floaty baby? Yes, you are. Now, whilst you're bathing, um, Lydia's mum has told us that there's a massive fire around the corner from her house to the point where it's that bad that it might be the case of her coming here staying with us. So I'm actually going to go and check out whether or not Lyd's mum needs to come here by setting off down there. Now, we've got a spare bedroom set up, so she can only just obviously just stay in there and stuff, but... Yeah, apparently it's pretty bad, so we're about to go and find out what the hell's going on. All right, let's hop on in the whip and see if everything's okay. I'm just around the corner from where this factory is, and I can't smell any smoke or anything. Uh, I have got a cold, so, you know, might not be a fair test. Oh. There's no way this has actually only just started. Wait. Wait, why is there... There's a guy stood there with a handycam. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, that is really close to Lydia's mum's house. Oh, snap, now I can see why Lydia was worried. Well, we got undercover police here. Oh, there's guys randomly blocking the road. What on earth? Wow, oh my God. Flipping heck. Oh my gosh. That's insane. That is absolutely mental. Oh, good luck to the firemen. Oh my gosh, that is next level. They, I have never seen anything like this in my local neighborhood. Oh my gosh. There's people absolutely everywhere. Oh my days. So they've blocked off the roads there and on the other side where I tried to get around before, but this is like a public walkway bridal track going underneath like you can see the bridge. And look at the size of the factory. Holy crap, look at it, it's just going up. Wow, honestly, that, that smoke is getting so much worse. It would appear, I think we're about to get kicked out of this section. Oh, here we go, now the, now the proper big guns are turning up. What on earth? You can't see it, but look at the amount of smoke. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to move it, this is terrible. Wait, what's your name? Callum. Callum, wait, you were watching the vlog? Yeah. yeah we <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate that. Listen, I would stay, but that smoke is getting blacker and uh, I do not need to... Look, at, yeah, I'm not staying here any longer. Good luck, guys. See you later. Yeah, someone else has just burnt. That shouldn't be burning. I'm getting out of here now. That is horrible. She's okay. <laughs> Lydia was so worried about you. <laughs> I was like, I'm on the way. Don't worry. I'm fine. What do you say? Was it sound like explosions? Some kid I thought th it was no, gunshots. No, I thought it was fire. I thought it was fireworks. Yeah. And it was just going on. I was on the phone to Susan. I said, it's a fireworks on the low. And then I went out. But I was trying to get algae in the car yeah. and I went out and there was just, it, it It looked like it was in the back garden. Yeah. It was that big. Was it the orange? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you're okay. I'm fine. Home. And I could actually see in that direction, I know you can't on camera, but the black smoke, I guess I could see it driving from up the top of my road down. I could see the black smoke all in the air. You can actually, even from my house, because it's not that far away, you can hear the fire engines. Man, that's, that's bad. That's really, really bad. The scary thing is was, with the way the wind was blowing, it was actually blowing the fire close to some houses that were like just, just across the road. Like the distance between like the wind mirror and the car, that's the distance between the, the factory on fire and a row of like 20 houses or something like that. So yeah, that could have been really dangerous. Shout out to the fire brigade, the real legends. Your mother is safe and sound. All good in the hood, great success. I do feel like I've kid taste chemicals though. I'm not even kidding. I'm glad I got out of there when I did, no joke. I walked off because I saw the colour of the smoke change and as I was walking off, the um, the police came over to the people I was just talking to. Shout out to the legends who watch the vlogs, by the way. Um, and they said, um, you know, it's fine, you enjoy the show, whatever, but uh, that we think that's asbestos burning. So I, as I was walking away, I think the asbestos was set on fire. I think asbestos kind of fireproof. I don't know the science behind it, but yeah. But in good news, didn't expect it because I made the vlog go late, so live late. That made no sense. It's the best performing video I've uploaded. What? You guys like cleaning vlogs? Maybe that's why people weren't watching the other vlogs, because we were messy in them. We were so messy. Shh! I just film angles now so you don't see the mess. It's still there, but I just... 
I did. It's yeah, no, how would they know? <laughs> Who's gonna know? Shout out to Sam Jones. He's done another sketch up. Look at this. <laughs> that is so good. I think that is what I'm going for. That looks so, so good. Let me know in the comments down below which one's your guy's favorite. You have to pick a favorite, which one? Mine's number one. I like number three. Okay. Lydia likes this one. I love that one. That's so cool. Mm, it is 11 o'clock. On the dot. You want to do some organizing, don't you? Ah, yes, you do. This table surface is getting cleared. I've only just started going through this little box, mate, and look what I found. Oh, this is cool. It's like a picture book, Tom and Brian. Oh, me and my granddad. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, this is amazing. I don't know who this is from. Please tell me it's signed at the end. Come on, <laughs> me and Jay Leno. And then me and Jaws. But it doesn't say who it's from. I think this is something from the P.O. Box recently. Because it says Tom, Lydia and Jellyman. We've got some Mickey Mouse ears. A lovely stitched rabbit. And a lovely Dumbo. Or and a little stuffed toy. See, this is why doing P.O. Box openings with you is great. But no, no. I'm an idiot. I literally just gave Jellyman a letter. Kate and Isla, thank you so much. If we remember, we will take these to Disneyland. We appreciate you. Have I got something rare for you? What's that? A Syndicate original Pokemon card. This got sent for you to be your first Pokemon card, and I said I'd give it to you. Thank you to the legend that sent this in. It's Pikachu's birthday surprise. <laughs> and he loves it, honestly. Um, thank you. And that right there is how you get organized. Over here is items you guys have sent me, such as epic custom pop figures. Then I've got letters I've read, rubbish, and letters I've still got to read. And I'm going to keep this box out near the massage chair. And every time I get it, I'm going to set a rule. Every time I get in it, I'm going to sit down, get a letter, and read one. Hands down, still one of the coolest pieces of art I've ever been sent, thank you. And I don't mean that in like a weird or like a like myself sort of way, but I just think the sketch is really good. And then you've got this. Look at that piece of art. Absolutely amazing. My granddad on the back. Your guy's talent is next level. Another organized box. That was supposed to go flying and it didn't. I'm actually needing a second big box to put like the stuff you guys sent. It's unreal. I decided to hide my PS2 with that piece of art because it's just... Uh, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning from every dimension. Like, I, I have no idea how that was made, and I would love to find out. If that was you who made that, I'm so sorry I'm a potato. I've lost track. Please get in touch. It's so cool. Strides are beating Strudden right now over here. We're organising things to take upstairs. I'm a bit hesitant to do so, though, because we need to put these things that you're seeing in this corner up in the shelving unit when bald cousin Sean comes and does it. But um, I've not heard from him since last week. I messaged him today, he's not replied, and I'm still twiddling my thumbs, wondering when he's going to come and finish the job. I know he's a very busy man, and like I said, the weather's setting behind, so we're kind of just waiting on him until we've got a home for all this stuff. But if I want to try and make my, like, false dartboard cork wall wall thing, it's going to have to go. And if you don't know what I mean, if I just hung a dartboard on there and was throwing darts at it, I would absolutely wreck all the wood and all the consoles. So what I'm thinking is creating, like, three parts that I can pick up, move into there to store away um, when I don't want it. But when I want to play darts, place it out, and it just looks like a solid wall that I can then hang my dartboard on. And if darts hit that... It's not a problem. Gonna take some um, Tom ingenuity to get it done, but I believe we can do it. Let's get the lids on these boxes and send them off to storage. Can you believe that this entire section here is all from you guys? I've organized it into items, letters, and I've still got unopened ones in here. And I think my inner hoard is kicking in because I refuse to get rid of this box that this guy absolutely customized to a T. So I'm gonna flat pack it and put it into storage. And away she goes. Honestly, one of the best things I've ever been sent that. It's time for the final game of Tetris to get lids on these boxes. And he's done it. He's actually organized it and done it. Ooh. Numero one. Numero two. I locked loaded and ready for sean oh my gosh i'm using this as a transporter to take it all upstairs this can just beggar off how many jars does one woman need like what the flipping heck man don't even ask i i genuinely don't know i love a little face to pieces though and if we put that down and look over here all we've got to do is move that and the job He's done. Seems only fitting to put this up there with the Call of Duty mystery box. And if I face it that way, any guests with kids that annoy me, I'll tell them to go in the basement, look inside, 
and watch out for the spooky ghoul. And then proceed to get shouted out by the parents. Not quite sure why I've got all these. If you open them up, it's actually photo albums of my granddad, which are absolutely amazing, but I'm pretty sure my mum should have these. So rather than them being in a tool bag, I'm bringing out the big guns. And God willing, oh, they should all fit like a glove. And yes, they did. And for a bit of a cherry on top, take a look at this bad boy I found. Are you ready? There is my granddad on the left. What a charmer. And then, dun, 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 my mum as a little girl. No way. <laughs> Amazing. So when I give that to my mum tomorrow, when she opens it up, she'll have a nice surprise. I got one as well. I found a Batmobile. And instead of giving that to Arlo, I think this will be Alfie's first ever Hot Wheel. I give him. Oh, it's currently 20 past one in the morning. Lydia's already gone to bed. And I'm trying to wonder if it's worth my life trying to hang that up. Which the common sense side of me says, no, Tom, don't be an absolute idiot. But the get shit done side of me is like, do it. I am refusing to rush this decision because I don't actually know what I want to go where. I was thinking this in here and then that there. But then I don't know where to put that. But let me know in the comments down below which one we should hang up here. As I am making the sensible decision to not end up on the sofa tonight and leave this till tomorrow. So let me know in the comments down below which one's going where. We also have that wall as well. And seeing as though I've got a tripod, why not just have a look and see what we think? Oh, oh, tell me that's not perfect. Let me know if you agree. All that's left is for me to pick up these boxes, put them in here for safekeeping. Shuffle that outside without hopefully making too much noise. He says. And I can't open the door because the sofa's in the way. Oh. And it's raining. All right, this is going to be one way of shifting it. You ready? I'm going to lay down on it, put my feet on the wall and push. That did not work. I just kind of moved up the sofa. Going to try and drag it. That'll do. And I was wrong about it raining. It was actually just a tarp flapping around. It's actually a really nice night. Look at the moon. Right. Take two. Have you noticed from the start of this vlog to now, my voice is like nearly gone? I think that's your body's natural way of telling you to shut the truck up. So nice outside. Honestly, a night like tonight is making me wish I had a fire pit like a full satin with drains so it didn't fill up with water. Really cozy, comfy fire pit. Mm -hmm. think about this but I'm gonna have to move the table somewhere else because I'm not gonna be able to get my defender out the back. Yeah that would be a bit of a problem when I try to go to the gym in the morning just blocking it with the table. I could just reverse into it I guess. What's the worst that can happen? I just drive around the back. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah I can get past that. Famous last words at 9am. It's been a pleasure doing business with your table. I salute you. 99% sure that was like my childhood's family dining table. Not even kidding. But you have run your course. I have my own dining table to hoard. And mine's about eight times the weight and it's made of glass. So yeah, I've got enough on my plate. But booyah, look at that. Oh, come on, pop figure, you're ruining the vibe, mate. He's only gone and done it. The basement is organized. Don't even say what about the bar. This is a completely different kettle of fish. I've got to get a new fridge. I think we're having an ice machine. I need to sort out that entire unit. I don't even think I've been in that cupboard my entire life since it's been there for 10 years, but let me show you inside it. It's a bloody yet hole. So we're going to be organizing that tomorrow or something like that and getting a fridge ordered because I want to get on with this and having this basement absolutely booming and completed. I have just had a text on my phone. I don't know if you heard that off Lydia saying, I thought you were only taking two boxes upstairs. I've been it out. So I think this is my cue to turn the lights off. Skedaddle my ass upstairs and say goodbye to the basement. Cannot believe, even with a cold and just feeling like meh, that I've managed to just keep on keeping on with this motivation of getting shit done. It's been an absolute vibe. And I tell you what, I I I'm going to take a screenshot now and put it on screen again of yesterday's vlog. It was uploaded like three hours later, something like that. And it's one of the best performing vlogs I've ever seen. Like, I can't quite wrap my head around it. So, to anyone who wastes their time watching my time, thank you so much. You're a legend, and I don't know why you do it. I, like, I'm very blessed to just be able to live my life 
and share it on the internet. Like, someone would probably look at it and go, loser, all right, fine, but I enjoy doing it, and if it can make someone smile, entertained, or go, well, that was a waste of time, then I've, I've, I've done my job. So, yeah, just an absolute blast making these videos, and I really hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I can't wait to see where the house decisions go from here. Like I said, I'd love to do the massive like be all and end all extension but the cost involved in it is just ridiculous so it's just not even a question of it happening unfortunately so if we can make these like minor adjustments to the house and make this house like the ultimate home and not be wanting for like what i don't have or like more 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 but working with what i've got and making it the best thing possible i think i think we'll be on to a winner and i think that's a good like analogy for everything that i've been doing like the past few weeks you know wanting to get in shape and stuff like that it's like work with what you've got like can't do my shoulders certain exercises but there's other ways around it do you know what i mean and it's it's been it's been nice to have this for some reason like just feels like a different mental approach um to like just life and getting shit done in general it's been pretty nice so i hope you enjoy um the fact that i'm about to get bedded so i really need to go now all right and i hope you put subtitles on that <laughs> um so guys yeah Thanks for everything. I've got to get up in the morning to go to the gym and I'm going to be absolutely knackered. One, from staying up too late. Two, from having a cold. And three, from it being up so early. So guys, I'm loving you. I'm leaving you. If you do enjoy my vlogs, go ahead, click that subscribe button because we're trying to hit 2.6 million subscribers, which seems like an impossible task with YouTube constantly deleting accounts. But if we can get there, I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7pm on the dot for your faces. So much love. And a sad